Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today let's make a Batman um, with help from ClassicTVToys.com, Figures Toy Company, whatever you'd like to call them this week. Um, they sell on their website, ClassicTVToys.com, all the parts you'll need to make your very own classic Mego style Batman figure and and many more. Um, so let's get everything out of the packaging and see what we've got here. Okay, let's start with our S-Type body. This is the S-Type body um, that you can get at ClassicTVToys.com. It is a ball jointed body. It's not made with cheap elastic horse shit running through it. So you can pose it and move it and it's very durable, it's very nice, it's solid in the hand, and the best part about it is, is that you can, you don't have to fucking melt it to get the head hole open to put a head on it, or try to squeeze the goddamn heads on. You open it up with screws, and then pop the head in and close it right back up with, with the same screws. That's pretty good. Also, we've got our cape, we've got our uh, Batman suit with uh, insignia, already attached on there. The decal looks very nice. We have our bat boots, our bat gloves, a retro style, and a, uh, and a nice yellow belt. Uh, a utility bat belt, if you will. Um, all looks very nice. And now we're gonna put it on the figure and put it all together and um, and yeah, we'll see what it, what it looks like as a uh, as, as Batman. But first of all, we gotta make naked Batman. In order to do that, we need to open up this body. I luckily have my tiny screwdriver here. We're gonna open it up and see what it does. Okay, so now I will, I guess, carefully pop this open. Um, or I will try to pop this open. I don't really need it open that that far, and um, oh, maybe it's being held by the butt screw, his butthole, um, right there. Um, but I think I can fit that in there without. There we go. And then it's just as simple as putting all the screws back in the screw holes and putting it right back together. Um, this is a lot easier than the melt and pop and gyrate and using fucking tools and shit like that to fucking uh, bore out a hole in the top of the head. Um, this seems so much easier. This is not unlike putting back together a G.I. Joe. So we're going to do that right now. And there we go. He's naked Batman. Naked Batman. Look at me. I'm naked. Okay. Now we're going to put the clothes on him and see how what he looks like. Um, just bear with me while we do that. We've got a very snug fit on the Batman uh, suit on the back here. It looks like it attaches with Velcro. Um, we'll put that together like so. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, he has his little jumpsuit. Now we will attach his cape like this right over the head. There we go. It's very nice, it's very soft. Um, it's not unlike the old cape, but it's a different color blue. I guess so, you know, you can kind of tell the difference between the, you know, the repro and the real one. Uh, we'll slide his, his boots on and um, they go on pretty, pretty simply. All right, there we go. Um, let's get his belt together here. All right, he has his belt. And, and right there, he'd be he'd be just fine. He'd be honestly just fine, but we still have our little gloves, his little oven mitts. Um, these are not unlike the old school uh, ones that used to come with the old figures. Um, you can put that on there um, if you want. Um, eh, they're kind of dumb, but <laughs> like, let's get it together. I'm gonna put this together real nice and then we'll see what he looks like. All right, so here he is um, in all of his Batman glory. All put together, it only took a few minutes, really. And um, yeah, and I did it all by myself. And, and Shake and Bake and I helped. Look at that. 
fucking awesome. My very own Batman Mego style figure, but I know it's an S type body, so it's gonna be sturdy. I can drop him, I can pose him, I can fucking wiggle him around, and he's not gonna fall apart in my hands. He's not gonna be brittle or fragile. Everything is very high quality. It's a nice figure, and um, man, and, and you can do this too. You can go to ClassicTVToys.com and you can make your own Batman, or you can make the Joker, or you can make different versions of these characters, or you can fucking mix and match heads and outfits and different shit like that and make your own goddamn DC multiverse. Is this not the fucking the greatest age to live in as a as a human being? And if you're even a little bit more industrious, you can fucking make your own goddamn clothes for these things. This is a great fucking figure. I'm glad I have it. And uh, this has been the Dan Classic Show, and we made a Batman!